Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about system function for socket programming, topic of computer network. So let's start with what is socket. The socket is an endpoint of two-way communication between programs running on the network. It means there are two different programs running on the two different system in the network. If both the programs want to communicate with each other, so at that time socket will be created by both the host. So we can say socket is an endpoint of the two-way communication. Next, what is socket programming? A socket programming is a way of connecting two different nodes on a network to communicate with each other. So as per the definition of socket, there are two different programs running on the network. It means both the programs running on the different machine in the network. So whenever these two programs are communicate with each other, so socket programming is required. Next, which functions are used for the socket programming? The main functions of the socket programming are socket, bind, listen, connect, accept, send receive or read write or send to receive from. And the last one is close. These are the main seven functions are used for the socket programming. Next, categorize the function between server and client. We all know that the socket programming is used in the client server architecture. So now categorize the function between the server and client. The first function is socket. The socket function is used by the client as well as server. The use of socket function is to creating a socket. The next function is connect. The connect function is used by the client to connect with server. The next function is bind. Bind function is used by the server. So using the bind function, server will bind the IP address as well as the specific port with the specific services. The next function is listen. The listen function is used by the server. So using the listen function, server can listen the incoming connection from the client. Next, accept. Accept function used by the server. So whenever accept function is executed at the server side, at that time client is connected with the server. The next function is send receive or send to receive from. Send and receive, both the function are used by the client and server. So using the send and receive function, client and server exchange the information or data. The last function is close. Close function is used by the client as well as server. So using the close function, socket is terminated. Let's understand the system function using the programming concept. Now, so before programming concept, we will understand the system function using the telephone analogy. So before discuss about the system function using the telephone analogy, let's take some assumption. The assumption is client equal to user 1 and the server is equal to user 2. So now the first function is socket. So as per the definition of socket, the socket is an endpoint of two-way communication. So here telephone is installed at user 1 side and the user 2 side. So now we can say the socket is the endpoint for communication like a telephone. The next function is bind. So we all know that in telephone communication, assign a unique number to each telephone. So it means using the bind function, we can assign the unique socket address. The next function is connect. So whenever user 1 wants to communicate with user 2, at that time user 1 will dial the user 2 telephone number and then try to connect with the user 2. So here using the connect function, client connect to the server port. The next function is listen. Whenever user 1 is calling to the user 2, at that time user 2 is listen the incoming telephone ring from his or her phone. So it means using the listen function waiting for the connection. So here user 1 is waiting to connect with the user 2. Next function is accept. So whenever user 2 will pick up the receiver, it means accept the call. So here accept function means accept the connection by the server. The next function is send or receive. So after accepting the call by user 2, so user 1 and user 2 will communicate with each other and exchange the information. So here send and receive function means exchanging the data between the client and server. The last function is close. After exchanging the information, user 1 and user 2 hang the receiver on the telephone. It means end of communication. So it means close the connection. Let's discuss all the function one by one in detail with purpose, syntax and the programming concept. The first function is socket. Socket means a connection endpoint. The purpose of socket function is to create a socket at the client side as well as server side. So socket function is used by the client as well as server. 
the syntax of the socket function is integer socket then pass the three argument the first argument is family so it means which ip address family is used it may be ipv4 or it may be ipv6 if ipv4 is used it means f underscore inet is used if ipv6 is assigned to the socket at that time f underscore inet 6 is used the next argument is type so we all know that there are main two types of socket the first one is stream socket and the second one is datagram socket and the third argument is protocol so either tcp protocol or udp protocol is used so how can we write integer function in the programming integer socket f underscore inet it means ipv4 address is assigned then soc underscore stream it means the stream socket is used and here the protocol is zero if the protocol value is zero it means the default protocol if stream socket is used so default protocol is tcp and datagram socket is used so default protocol is udp protocol next function is bind it means attaching to an ip and the port number bind function is used by the server so using the bind function server can bind the ip address as well as the specific port with the specific service the syntax of the bind function is integer bind and then pass the three arguments the first argument is soc fd so it means the return value of the socket function so it means the socket descriptor written by the socket function so from now in each function the first argument will be soc fd the next argument is server underscore address it contains the server ip address and the port number which server wants to bind with the server address and the last argument is address length it means the length of the address in bytes in address length includes the ip address as well as the port number so how we can write the bind function in the program so first of all i will create one structure so address underscore in then pass the one member of the structure server underscore address so then after which ip address is assigned ipv4 or ipv6 so here f underscore inet it means ipv4 is assigned then store the server ip address to the structure variable then assign the port number to the structure variable port number is already defined in the starting of program so now write the bind function so first argument is soc fd then pass the server address here server address assign the ip address as well as the port number then the size of server address the next function is connect connect means connect to a server so the purpose of connect function is to connect to a server port so this function is used by the client to connect with server the syntax of the connect function is integer connect then pass the three arguments the first one is soc fd what i have already discussed in the bind function and the next argument is server address it means filled with the all remote server details so here server address means the server ip address as well as the port number of the specific service and the last one is address length it means the size of the server address so how can we write the connect function it is same as the bind function so here i am not creating the structure because i have already discussed in the bind function so first of all you have to create a structure then write the connect function so here i am write the connect function directly so integer connect soc fd it is the first argument then pass the second argument it means the server address so pass the ip address and the port number so here uh, server ip address and port number is assigned using the structure variable and the last argument is the size of server address so here i want to clarify some of the points regarding the program in the socket programming either tcp or udp server program is separate and the client program is separate so we all know that the bind function is used at the server side and the connect function is used at the client side so in bind function i have created a structure so same structure is also created at the client side program for the connect function so i think uh, now all of you are clear why i am not writing the structure so it means whenever you write the integer connect function before you have to create the structure which is the same as the bind function but in the client side program the next function is listen it means wait for a connection the purpose of listen function is to listen the incoming connection from the client so it means kernel to initialize a wait queue of the connection for the socket so the syntax of the listen function is integer listen and pass the two argument the first argument is soc fd which is same as the connect and the bind function socket descriptor 
which is written by the socket function. And the another argument is backlog. It means the maximum length of pending connection Q. For example, the backlog is 15. It means server will allow the 15 connection only. So how can we write the listen function in the programming? Integer listen and pass the first argument soc fd and then pass the second argument. So in second argument, you have to pass the integer value to allow the maximum connection. So here backlog is equal to 10. It means this will allow a maximum 10 connection to be a pending state. The next function is accept. Accept means a new connection is accepted by the server. The purpose of accept function is accept a new connection from the new client. The syntax of the accept function is integer accept and then pass the three arguments. The first argument is soc fd. It is the same as previous function. The next argument is client address. So here client address. So it means new clients information in which IP address as well as the port number used by the client. And the third one is address length. It means the size of client address. So how can we write the accept function in the programming? So we all know that accept function is used at the server side. So we have already created a structure at the server side in the bind function, which is soc address underscore in. So now pass the client address, which is the member of the soc address underscore in structure. So after that, the determine the length of client address, which is stored in the length variable. Then write the accept function integer accept. The first argument is soc fd and the next argument is the client address detail and the last argument is the size of client address. The next function is send or receive. So for the TCP and the UDP program, there are two different functions are used for the send and receive. If it is simple send and receive, it is used for the TCP program and the send to and receive from function are used for the UDP program. So first of all, we discuss the send receive which is used for the stream socket. It means the TCP program. So here simple send and receive function. So it is used for the stream socket. So the syntax of the send and receive function is integer send and then pass the four arguments. So same as the send, it is the integer receive and then pass the four arguments. So here send and receive function is written a number of bytes which is send or received by the particular host. So here send and receive function both are the same arguments. So the first argument is soc fd which is same as the previous function socket descriptor written by the socket function. The second argument will change the meaning of both the function which is message. So it is the pointer to a data you want to send or receive. So here in send function message means which is sent by the sender and in the receive function message means received by the receiver. The third argument is length. So it is the length of data you want to send or receive. In send function, length means length of message which is sent by the sender. And in receive function, the length means the length of message which is received by the receiver. And the last argument is flex in both the function. It is set to zero. So how can we write the send and receive function in the programming? So first of all, I have created a character array for the sending the message and the receiving the message. Then define the variable integer send bytes and the receive bytes. Then write the send function send bytes is equal to integer send. Then pass the first argument soc fd. Then send message. Then 1024 which is the length of message which is defined in the character array. And the flag bit is 0. And the same for the receive function. So here send byte store the return value of the send function. And the receive byte store the return value of the receive function. So both the variable store the value in the bytes. The next function is send to and receive from which is used for the exchanging the data in the datagram socket or we can say in the UDP programming. So the purpose of send to and receive from function is transfer the data or the datagram socket. So the syntax of the send to function is integer send to and then pass the six argument and same for the receive from function integer receive from and then pass the six argument. So in both the function, the first four argument are the same as the previous function send and receive, which we have already discussed in the send and receive function. The fifth argument of the send to function is to. Here to means socket address for the host where data has to be sent. It means to store the receiver's socket address. And the same from the receive from function, the fifth argument is from. From means socket address for the host where data from receive. 
so it means sender socket address so let's take one example to understand both the arguments to and from whenever you receive a mail from your friend at that time check the email header in which your email id is written in front of to and your friend's email id is written in front of from so it means to shows the receiver address and from shows the sender address so here in this function to is the receiver socket address and from is the sender socket address so last argument of the send to function is to length here to length store the size of receiver socket address and last argument of the receive from function is from length it store the size of sender socket address the last function is close so here close means terminate the connection so the purpose of close function is end of communication between the server and client this function is used by both server and client in the tcp program the syntax of the close function is integer close and pass the one argument so here argument is soc fd it means socket which was created earlier by the socket function which is closed here so how can we write the close function in program integer close soc fd and then created socket is closed tcp socket program and udp socket program are available on my blog so follow my blog eduresources1.com so if you like this video please hit the like button and share with others so thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel on youtube chirag balodia follow my blog eduresources so all the links are given in the description